Unbelievable. Oh, I want you to find out who authorized this, and I want you to get back to me immediately. Do you hear? I was told you were here. Yeah? Julian. A construction crew came to the hospital last night and started remodeling the entire office wing. I, I mean, the entire place now is a construction site. I have no office, no place to work, no, no place to see patients. I, not to worry, I, uh, oh. I know all about it. You do? I wanted to surprise you. I authorized the, the construction. I hired the architect, the contractors. Before you know it, you'll have a whole new workplace. Oh. <gasps> Julian, without consulting me? Well, it wouldn't have been much of a surprise if I had. No. No, it, it was a surprise, all right. Julia, how could you do such a thing? Hey. Hey. Oh, God, who let you out of the salt mines? I never see you here in the middle of the day. I'm just taking a break, man. Huh. You'd be chained to your desk. I read your lead counsel on that vicious lawsuit against Crane. Yeah. Yeah, the Allen case. I, you know, I just needed to get out of the office and clear my head a little bit. Is it really that tough? No, the case isn't tough. That's actually the least of my troubles right now. Huh. See what you mean? Hmm. Oh, come on. Teresa. You should be with me. Teresa. Time we spent together was me. magical. We were meant to be together. together. You it's know married. it. And I know it. It's yesterday's Don't news. Listen to this guy. He doesn't know you, know you like I know you. Just stop. Please, I, I can't think. But it's true. I do love you. It's always been true. Then why didn't the fool do anything about it? I wanted you the first time we met. Teresa, don't even listen to him. You know that I'm the man that you love. I'm, I'm confused. Which one of us do you love? Which one of us do you want to spend the rest of your life with? Ethan, I love you. I mean, I have always loved you. You know that, but I cannot have you. And Jared, I mean, you're, you're amazing. And you know what? You're available. So I choose to move forward with you. All right, yes. Teresa, you don't mean that. I do. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch out. You're going to get ink all over your fingers. <sighs> Teresa Crane. Hey, Teresa, it's Jared. Something's come up. You got to come down to the third floor. What's wrong? Just come down to the third floor. And hurry. My God. What could go wrong now? <laughs> okay. Fancy, you proved your point. You sure did. Let me up. You aren't listening. You have to say uncle first. As soon as I hear that lovely word, I'll allow you to get up. No. We'll be here all day. Fancy. I have a class to teach. Then say uncle. Mm. You can say it in Spanish if you want. It's Theo. I know what it is. <laughs> All right. Uncle. I'm sorry. What was that? I couldn't hear it. I said uncle. <laughs> you see, class? All you have to do is apply pressure to the. <gasps> <laughs> okay, I'll let that be a lesson to you. To all of you, actually. Never let your guard down and never get too cocky. What you've seen is an example of what can happen if you do. So you think you have your perp under control and then he turns the tables on you. Or she. Yeah. All right, I say uncle. Come on. Just kidding. Get up. Ay, ay, ay. If they don't kill each other, they'll have beautiful babies. Oh, Miguel. No. We have to get you back to your room. Uh, OK, I forgot my belt, honey.
I'll leave you alone for a minute, and this is what happens. I know. Hey, are you okay? <sighs> I am such a glutz. All right, get it. Uh, I heard you calling about your belt, and I tried to get out of the bed to get it, and I fell down. Do we need to get you some of those guardrails like Marin and Dora have? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's not funny. Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? I hope not. I just, whoop, boom, fell right on my face. <laughs> oh, gonna kiss your boo-boo? Which one? <laughs> my choice. Oh. Mm. You're so beautiful. I can't, can't have you bruised up when you're walking down the aisle, babe. Ooh, black. Blue and white. Yeah, good, 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 good wedding colors. <laughs> hey, don't you have to make that conference call? Yes, I do, but I can't do that without a belt. Oh, belt, belt. Got it, got it, got the belt. Here you go. You better hurry. I bet they can't start without you. <laughs> go. You gotta go. <laughs> I wish I could stay here. Though. Oh, yeah, I do too. I do too. Okay, you get over that cold. Cold. Mm. Oh, what? Yeah. I'll get over the cold. <laughs> See you. <laughs> wake up! Wake up! Are you crazy? Fox almost got you. Wake up! Foxy K. Oh God, help me. Foxy K. This this is a disaster. This is horrible. Oh, you took a pretty good picture. No, uh, no jokes. Come on. I mean, how am I going to keep this from Gwen, huh? Good luck. That rag is sold all over town. <sighs> yeah, this I know. Come on, why should Gwen care? She knows that you and Teresa have moved on for good, right? Ah, well, correct me if I am wrong, but this tabloid would be more accurate if your picture was in the middle with Teresa and Gwen on either side. You can stop now. And the headline would say... Which one will he choose? <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably right. Well, it looks like you're back to square one. Stuck in the middle between two beautiful women. It's just a horrid position to be in. <laughs> I'm sorry. So what are you gonna do? Honestly? I have no clue. Just what I need, another crisis. Teresa! There you are. So what is, what, what's wrong? Did I say something was wrong? Look, please don't play games, okay? You, you call me down here. This is the physical fitness center. You'll see. You'll see. I don't understand. You said you were tense earlier. I did, yeah. Yoga is, uh... Great way to relieve stress. I figured we'd have ourselves a little private yoga session. Don't know how to do yoga, Jared. I do. There's no one here. It's the private part. See, I had the whole floor cleared. So we've got locker rooms, we've got the gym, and the sauna, steam room all to ourselves. You're awfully sure of yourself, aren't you? I put a yoga outfit in the locker room, go get changed up, come back. What about the files for the lawsuit? Don't worry about the lawsuits. Now, Korean Industries will suffer if its CEO's all stressed out. Why don't you let me help you unwind? such a huge decision that affects my professional life behind my back. Have you seen my office, Julian? There are no walls. I can't work there. It will all be taken care of. And, and that's just the, the first part of my surprise. Oh, God, well, I just can't wait for the second part. Well, I bought a new yacht. I would like for you to, to help me break it in. The crew has it waiting for us. And Gibraltar will sail the entire Mediterranean. The Greek islands, Morocco, the Italian Riviera. Fall, early fall is really the best time to go. Then if we're lucky, the first white truffles of the season. What when... on earth are you thinking? I knew that you would never take 
time off from work on your own, so I arranged to have your office redone. To force you to do it. There's no way you can work there now. You'll have the time, but God, think of it. A cruise the Mediterranean with just the two of us. It'll be so romantic. It'll, it'll be unbelievable. Unbelievable, and that is a word for it. I mean, I think it's... I think it's wonderful. Oh, wonderful. No, wonderful is not the word that I had in mind, Julie. Get up, cadet. We ran seven miles. So what, you want a medal? Suck it up and press on. All right, people, focus. We're about to do a very important drill involving suspect pursuit. That's why I wanted you to run, so you'll be tired and out of breath just the same way you'd be if you were chasing a real suspect. Are all our suspects going to be on the track team? I heard that. This is no joke, people, OK? Now, you'll be wearing a high-tech gizmo today to help you train. A virtual reality headset, which will place you in a simulated criminal situation, OK? And what you're going to have to do is use everything that you have learned thus far as cadets to apprehend the suspect and prevent anyone, including yourself, from getting hurt. Well, that sounds fun. We're not here to have fun. Uh, yes, sir. This is no walk in the park, people. Now, you're gonna be wearing these special vests. They have sensors. If you get shot in the simulation, the vest will zap you with a very powerful electric shock. Ouch. Well, it's better than getting shot for real now, isn't it? Virtual reality is the best way for you to experience what you're gonna have to deal with on the streets. It's gonna test your reaction time and your instincts. Any questions? Um, yeah, what's the screen for? To watch and learn, okay? Now, here's the scenario. There's been a robbery at a convenience store. The suspect is armed and very dangerous. In fact, he has already killed the clerk behind the counter. He's managed to get away, however, before the police have arrived. You have received a tip. Chase the suspect to an area that is crowded with civilians. Now, be careful. The suspect can disguise himself or take a hostage, and it is up to you to identify the suspect, to arrest him, and protect the public. Who wants to go first? Well, somebody's got to be first. No volunteers? Um... Paloma, you go. Me? Yeah, you want to be a cop. Come on, let's get moving. It's all right. Don't be nervous. Just remember everything that you've learned, OK? Be careful and observant. Remember to act fast, OK? I'll try. All right. Do better than try. Mm. You ready? <sighs> yes, sir. OK. Go. My head's killing me. What time is it? Fishing boats left hours ago, if that's what you're worried about. Mm. God, I need that money, Kay. Yeah, well, nobody will hire you if you get the reputation for not showing up. Mm. Thanks a lot. You should have thought about that before you stayed out all night partying with Siren. It wasn't all night. Mm. I guess I did have too much to drink. 
I was hammered when I got home last night, and my head was killing me, so I just went in a tab with his medicine cabinet and took whatever it is she has in there. Yeah, I know. I know. You, you told me, remember? No. <laughs> wow. Wow, Miguel. I thought you were smarter than that. You get drunk, you take some random pill. I know. Really smart. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Whatever. It was I took really knocked me out. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have been going out in the first place. Why not? Oh. <laughs> After what I said to you last night? Well, if you don't know, then never mind. But I don't know. Why are you so upset with me? You really want to know? Shut up and listen. <sighs> Look, I'm in no position to give someone advice about their loved ones. But... Ever since I've gotten back to Harmony, you, Gwen, and Teresa have been the talk of the town. Mm. Now, now, don't you think you should put this to an end once and for all? Yeah, yeah, tell me about it. Okay, L let me give you a little perspective here, brother. Uh, I am in love with one woman, Fancy Crane, and she never wants to see me again. You, on the other hand, have two women in love with you. They both want you. The only problem <clears throat> is that you want both of them, too. Yeah. I don't know what to do anymore. I've been fighting my feelings for Teresa for years now. But I'm married. No, I'm, I, for God's sakes, I'm married. I'm happy. Yeah, delirious. Look, it's been worse ever since I got back from Rome, okay? All I can think about is Teresa. She is in my head, she is in my heart, and, and I love her. I love Teresa, I always have. And up until recently, I've been able to ignore those little voices in my head. You know, if you're hearing voices in your head, you need a doctor, not a bartender. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what Fancy would say, all right? Or Dad. Oh, oh great. Here it comes. Be what? honest. Hmm. Tell Gwen and Teresa the truth. Don't you think I want to tell the truth? I do, but if I tell the truth, I'm going to lose Gwen. Excuse me? Uh, Did I just hear you say something about losing Gwen? What's going on? <sighs> well, I might have known. Teresa. What's the little bitch done this time? There. You feel how you're all tense there? Yes, I do. All right, now, why don't you shift down just a bit? Okay, like that? Yeah, just right there. Come on. No. It's great. It's good. Soon you'll be ready for the clouds and the rain. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop. God, Julia. Do you have any idea what you've done? Wait, wait, 
We'll, we'll have a marvelous trip. Um, some adventure, some, some romance time for the two of us. Please don't be upset. Upset? No, Julian, I am not upset. I am livid. I have patience. I am a doctor. These people trust me. Do you think that I'm just going to desert them with no notice because you have some obscure whim? I thought of that. I've arranged to have your patients seen by other doctors. I even had some of them sent to oh. Boston. They'll be treated as well as if they were with you. Really, Julian? Do you think that I'm that easily replaced? That just any old doctor could do what I do? Well, fine then. I guess that people are just automobiles and doctors are just mechanics. That's not what I meant. You, you went behind my back. You took control of my practice, a practice, by the way, that's taken me years to build up, and you sent my patients away. But do you have it? Or do you even care about the damage that you have done? Damage? My patients trust me, Julian. And you've taken them and you shoved them off on doctors that don't even know them. That's not how medicine works. I have a personal relationship with my patients. What about me? <sighs> don't I get a personal relationship with you? I don't mind. Sometimes you are so oh, dense. My head. Too bad. You're gonna listen to this. I have been engaged to Fox for months now. And you know that, yet you, you pour your heart out to me. Tell me how much you love me, how you can't live without hey, me. come on, keep it down. I'm talking. You say, oh, okay, I made the biggest mistake of my life chasing after charity. Would you break off your engagement and marry me? Oh, and you even brought Maria into this. Oh, we should be a happy family. Okay, I know in my heart now that we belong together. That's true. Oh, really? Well, then why did I find you just a few hours later hanging all over that slut siren in that nightclub? Look, it's not what you think uh, it is. You weren't sincere about anything you said. <laughs> but I do love you, Kay. Oh, really? Well, you sure said it with your hands all over her. You let me explain? No, no, I don't want to hear it because I'm done. I have a wedding to plan, okay? A wedding to a man who respects me and who loves me completely. Sorry if I startled you. Listen, I saw a guy come running through here with a gun. He went around that building. Thank you. Freeze! Hands in the air! You're under arrest. Very good, Paloma. How'd you know that guy was the perp? Well, see his back pocket? He has a ski mask. Everyone on that street is dressed for summer, so why would a guy have a ski mask in the summer unless he was up to no good? Paloma, I am so impressed. <laughs> That's nice work, kid. All right, Fancy, you're next. You know, on second thought, you look a little too well rested. Why don't you go outside, give me five laps around the block? <laughs> Are you kidding? Do I look like I'm kidding? Go, cadet. Go! Go! You're being awfully tough on her. Yeah, I'm tough on all my cadets. <laughs> yeah, right. What's that supposed to mean? Hmm? It's for fancy's own good. If that's the only reason. What other reason could there be? I don't know, you tell me. You don't start with me, Paloma. I, Louise, you wouldn't be so touchy if I wasn't right. You are super hard on fancy out of sexual frustration. Where have you learned to talk like that? You know, even common schools teach psychology. You're attracted to fancy. Don't try to hide it. She's a very nice girl. I It's more than that, and you know it. Don't ignore what I told you before. You have to move on with your life. You have to let Sheridan go. And if you can't do it, just stop sending signals to fancy. It's not fair for her or you. Paloma? <sighs> Done. Five times around the block. Well, well, well. 
sure we took our own sweet time now, didn't we? All right, let's get suited up, come on. Obviously, your perp is gonna look completely different, okay? Oh, one thing I totally forgot to mention. In virtual reality, a giant fog bank has just rolled in. What? We'll get used to it, Fancy. Crime doesn't stop for the weather, okay? Now go catch your perp. I get a refill. No, it's a good idea. Go. Ethan, don't you dare let Teresa come between you and Gwen. You have a wonderful marriage. Gwen is your future. You belong together. I love Gwen. I love her very much. Good. Don't you forget that. Just stay away from that little Mexican tornado. I swear that girl must have Aztec blood. It would explain her penchant for ripping men's hearts out. That's beautiful. Th thanks, Rebecca. Don't you get smart with me, little boy. I am still your mother. You know that Teresa is a blight on everyone who lives in harmony. She leaves pain and destruction in her path. And I will not let another son of mine ruin his life over the wrong woman. What? Nothing. No, never mind, honey. I, I know I'm sorry. I'm sounding like a fishwife. It's just, Ethan, I love you. You know I do. That's why I worry about you so much. So please, promise me you will stay away from Teresa, because if you don't, she will rip your marriage apart. Mother. You don't even have to worry about it. I'll tell you why. Because Teresa has moved on with this guy, Jared Casey. Well, good. Good. Let her destroy his life, not yours. Poor sap. Oh, um, oh, Ethan, I have an appointment I have to go to. I'm so sorry. Can I see you later? Okay, yeah. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Now to stop Fox from ruining his life with Kay. That is one wedding that will not happen. The paper does ask a pretty good question, though, Teresa. Which one of us will you choose? I love you. I can't bear to see you with another man, but how can I stop you? And I can't leave Gwen for you, Teresa. I just can't betray my vows again. I have always heard that yoga was very relaxing. I didn't know that it could be so... Stimulating? That's a good word for it. Mm -hmm. That is very relaxing. <sighs> You're really tense. I know. I'm sorry. But you know what? Right now, if I got more relaxed, I think I would melt. <laughs> so, thanks. You're welcome. It's just what I needed. No, it's not over yet. What? I had the whole floor cleared. Figured we'd take ourselves a nice long steam, and then maybe a couple of massages. Sounds perfect. Well, you deserve it. You deserve to have someone care for you. Hmm. Do you know anyone who would want that job? I'll have to show you my resume. Fox, you will never guess where I am right now. The bridal salon! I'm gonna try on some wedding gowns. You could wear a garbage bag and still be the most beautiful bride on earth. Aw, you're so sweet. But not for this wedding. I know exactly what I want. I want something very, very sleek and elegant. I've got some news to tell you as well. I've just about finished booking our honeymoon. <gasps> Where are we going? 
Mm, that's for me to know and for you to find out. But I will tell you that it is going to be just about perfect. Like our lives together, love. Aw, I love you. I'm so glad you're in my life. I feel the same way about you. Uh, Miss Bennett? Oh, honey, look, I, I gotta go. The sales lady's here to show me some gowns. All right, you go pick out a singer. No, well, you know I will. Bye. I think you're in for a treat. Oh, let me see. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that is ugly. That's terrible. That is the ugliest dress I have ever seen. I would never, ever wear that dress. Oh, shoot. Put my dog on it. I missed my own surprise. Surprise? Yes, Kay. I wanted to get you a special wedding gift. So I, I bought a wedding gown for you. The one I picked out with you in mind. What do you think, Kay? <laughs> I mean, I took one look and I said, oh, yes, yes, yes. That is a gown that Kay will remember wearing for the rest of her life. You know, Eve, I've always appreciated your concern for your patience. I just wish that somehow that concern could be expanded to include me. I don't know how you can be so self-centered, Julie. How dare you say that? You've been ignoring me for months. All you seem to care about is your ungrateful, ailing ex-husband and your precious patience. I'm the one who's been trying to arrange something nice for us, a way to, to reconnect, perhaps rekindle that romantic spark we seem to have lost. So you make a few phone calls and you dismantle my life? The old Julian is alive and well. You just want me to turn my back on everything that has meaning to me to satisfy your current whim. My work is important, Julian. I know that. No, that's nonsense, because if you did, you would know that my patients need me. Look, let's... You just don't seem to get it, do you? I'm not angry because you wanted to plan a trip for the two of us. I am... I am furious because you didn't consult me. Julian Crane looked at the way this relationship was going, and Julian Crane, he didn't like what he saw. So Julian Crane just rearranges everything to his liking. You didn't leave me any options, Julian. You just treated me like I was a puppet. I didn't mean... No, no, I don't buy that either. Because I know how your brain works, and I know how much thought that you put into this. But you know what you left out of the equation, Julian? I have changed. I'm not that young, stupid girl that took those drugs that you fed her and let you control her. Not anymore. I don't like being controlled. Now, if you had just asked me to take some time off to be with you, I would have said yes. But no, you just couldn't deal with the chance that I might say no. I don't need a lecture. You, no, Julian, I've changed. And I made the mistake of thinking that you had changed as much as I have. But obviously, that's not true. Obviously, that old Julian is, is alive and well and still there, and I've been seeing it more and more every day from you, that cool, vindictive man who swallowed every lesson that Alistair imparted as if it were the gospel. That I want what I want when I want it. That is so familiar. And it's very sad because I don't like that man, Julian. Not that, that younger you, that one that broke my heart and broke my spirit. I thought he was dead and buried, but obviously he's sitting right here in front of me. I don't want this. Neither do I. I can't do this again, Julian. Never again. E, please don't. walks away from me. I won't let you go, Eve. You can count on that. Well, I'd say it's pretty clear how your kindly mama feels about Teresa. I just hope she doesn't carry a hatchet around with her. My mother despises Teresa. And she's wanted Gwen and me to get married ever since we were kids. And now that we are married, she doesn't want anything to mess that marriage up. But I, you know what? I don't blame her. I mean, I don't want to lose Gwen. But you can't have them both. 
Yeah, I'm painfully aware of that, but I don't want to keep anything from Gwen. But you are. I know, maybe it's a sign of weakness, Noah, but I can't bear the thought of hurting either of these women. I mean, I, I tried to bury my feelings for Teresa uh, for so long now, and I can't do it. Maybe you owe it to yourself to make a decision once and for all. Maybe you should decide to pick Teresa. down. She's been shot. You are a miracle worker. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever done anything like this for me before. And then it's long overdue. I mean, not just for this, but for everything. You're an amazing man. Oh, I wasn't always this way. You seem to bring out the best in me. I'm a Tessa. I'm falling for you. <laughs> really falling for you. I know the feeling. about you a lot I am marrying your son and there's not a damn thing you can do about it it's the show that changed lives and inspired a 